Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Wednesday night edition of Inside the Headset. Going to roll right over here. Going to stay in Rutherford County. Going to talk over here at Tomahawk Stadium. The head coach of the Riverdale Warriors, head coach Will Kreisky. How you doing, Dyke Coach? Good. How you doing, Stuart? Well, it's the other. It's the other Kreisky. I, I, I talked to your brother just a few minutes ago, and he says he don't want to go to bed. So uh, we're <laughs> we're talking down to you and 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 get your take on it. What's going on over Riverdale High School? You finished the season six and five in the overall, and two and three in the in the region. Uh, but uh, what's happened since then, Coach? Yeah, uh, you know we've been working, and, and kids have been getting after it in the weight room and we've been staying after school with them a few days a week and getting a lot of work put in you know we got a lot of kids returning so you know we were we got a good core group back and and you know we've just been uh getting together and, and doing some things you know just the normal routine the off-season program and working and hitting the weights hard and, and trying to get these kids we feed them peanut butter sandwiches after uh, after they lift after they do after school uh workouts and so we're trying to get these kids bigger, bigger and stronger, and ready for this upcoming season. You know, and that's important to develop that unity. And you, it seems like, uh, and, and it's tough to keep kids focused and 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 to keep them riled up because uh, they tend to uh, uh, get off base pretty quick. But uh, you know, uh, as long as you got a good program going and you got good coaches, it's uh, it can come easy as long as you work at it a little bit. Yeah, and these kids, and I, you know, I've been fortunate to have a, a great coaching staff, and, and these guys have been working hard and and doing everything they can to be able to get their position players in, in the right position, uh, you know, and getting guys in the right spot. And you know, last year, uh, you know, we had we had some tough games. Oh uh, gosh, yes, and you were in yeah. some games and could have won them. Yeah. It just. Uh, couldn't slam the door shut. I mean, I still say the Smyrna game was one that slipped away from you. You had them on the ropes and, and couldn't put it away. I mean, uh, you got the safety there on that one play and just and, and then uh, and then just had that one uh, bad little play happen on offense where they scooped and scored on you. But, uh, uh, but uh, you know, got a quarterback coming back. And, uh, and uh, have you had some uh, new additions to the team? Uh, yes, sir. We were able to uh, – we had to move in uh, – Brock Montgomery, a wide receiver, so uh, you know he had a he's had a good career, a good high school career. So you know he's doing well, like you just said, being able to get, be around the guys, and get some team chemistry, and you know be around uh, the offense. And those guys are doing, you know, with, with other organizations and things. They're seven on sevens, and you know passing. So those guys are already working together. You know, we're, there's a lot of. A lot of different organizations out there in Middle Tennessee that you can get involved in in seven on sevens, and those kids uh, get together and play. And you know, a lot of our kids are able to play together, so that that's a good thing, and um, that helps them. You know, offensively. Um, unfortunately, you know, we can't have a ball right now, but you know, we'll get spring ball cranked up last week of April, and we, we count count the days. Then we got our big big liftathon coming up next Tuesday night at six o'clock at the field house, and. The guys have been doing a really good job raising money. And, you know, it's been a really good event for the last six years for us. And we're expecting another big night. Fun night. Like you said, it's, it's good for the chemistry of the, of the team. But it's also good for the parents and the families to come together and, and, and interact and be a part. Just be able to hang out and just spend a good night at, at at Riverdale. One of the longest traditions here in Rutherford County is Riverdale Warrior Football Club, and, and I know you got that support. Uh, uh, any changes in the coaching staff? Um, no, sir, as of right now, <clears throat> you know, uh, everything's been kept the same. You know, offensively, you know, we still got Coach Barnes that can just finished his first year. Uh, he came to us from Sunday Daisy High School, who he does an outstanding job. And, you know, I was fortunate enough, my offensive line coach was uh, being – uh, poached by a few schools, and I was I was able to uh, keep him. Coach Seth White does a does an amazing job with with our offensive line and our strength and and all of our any of our conditioning. And um, he had some schools reach out to him and try to poach him, but um, fortunate, you know, uh, he stayed with us. And defensively, you know, we have um, Zach Rail, you know, who's doing our defense coordinator, and, and he does a great job. You know, he's also entertained some schools, but uh, as of right now, he's still a Riverdale Warrior, so. That's a good thing, and all the other guys are, are coming back. Position, you know, I got a lot of position coaches, and they all do a phenomenal job. And I'm blessed to have all those guys come back. You know, our thoughts and prayers are still with Bobby Wells as he's still battling his cancer. Um, he hasn't been around much 
Um, the chemo keeps him down and tired, uh, but but he still communicates and in group messages with us in Texas and still picks on us. So, uh, you know, hopefully he'll be back by spring. You know, I'll tell you, anybody that's battling that or dealing with that, he has the most positive attitude I've ever seen. And uh, if we all could, could be like him and, and have a positive attitude when things aren't going our way, man, this world would be a better place. No doubt, no doubt. We're about 150 days away from locking and loading and getting into those 10-game seasons. What's got to happen between now and then for the Riverdale Warriors and to, and to, and, and, and to be ready to roll? Well, you know, so we gotta, number one, you got to stay healthy. But, uh, you know, we got to have a good productive spring. we got to get after each other. we got to get physical. we got to find guys up front. we got to find guys that, you know, that, that's where the battle's won in this region, you know, is up front. So we got to get guys. Uh, to get after, get better, get more physical up front, and, and develop. Uh, we got to do a good job developing those guys and getting them ready to play on Friday night. Uh, okay. Because you don't, you don't see not only our region, uh, but our non-region schedule. Also, you know, we don't, we don't see anybody that's uh, not very good. So we have, we have a work cut out. Um, our guys are, are going to get better. You know, we lost most of our interior guys and lost Caleb Herring up front on the defensive side. Uh, so, so that. Those guys and Isaac Oglesby will be two guys tough to play. So we got to find guys that are um, willing and ready to go and step up and take their spot. Uh, offensively, you know, uh, Isaiah Burser had surgery uh, before the Lebanon game, so he he didn't play in that game. Uh, we're hoping to get him back sometime in, uh, in June. Uh, Keyshawn Williams, who missed the entire season due to ACL in, in, in July, He's been cleared for non-contact activity, so, you know, that's a positive. That's the right step. Uh, we're looking for Keyshawn to uh, to have a great year. We are expecting him to have a breakout year last year until he tore his ACL. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're looking for some of those guys. You know, Jalen Thompson, he's getting better. And moving forward, we have uh, uh, T- Ote, who played started for us in the secondary He's got a lot better. You know, he was a sophomore that came in, and mm-hmm. we're excited for him. We're excited for him and what what he could do for us. Uh, Jamarian Smith, Joe, we call him JoJo, uh, in the middle was a sophomore linebacker for us. That they had a really good season. So, you know, we're expecting some of those guys, you know, to come along and play. And you know, you got a quarterback back, so that's a good thing. We got Graham coming back, Braden Graham for another year, and him around most of those guys that are returning is, you know, some things that you know we're excited about. Uh, but again, we got a lot of work to do from now until until August um, with the spring practice, with our June seven on seven, and then July, you know, uh, padded practice, and then rolling into our scrimmages. Uh, those guys are excited, ready to go. I mean, this group has really done everything we asked them. I mean, we had a tough afternoon today. Uh, they all got after it, and then a lot of them went went on to the track meet uh, that Ricky Field was hosting and cheered on some of their teammates as running track. So. It, it, it's really been a pleasant group to be around this off season, so we're we're excited to see what they can do once fall rolls around. Uh, as we close, please uh, uh, boast a little bit about your seven on seven tournament. Do you not host one? Yes, sir. I'm glad you said something. We're we're looking for everybody. The Thursday back from the dead period, July 14th. We usually have a lot of the top mid state teams uh, in the state that come around, and, and it's a good day. It's a long day, but it's a great day. There's a lot of good work. You know, it, it started out, you know, back in the day with Ron Ada lot where we just invited some teams over and, and practiced. And it, it's built into a big event that we had 25, 30 teams. You know, last year we had 28 teams show up. Um, so so we're uh, excited about it. Um, and it's a really good event that Josh Telchad helps me, and he puts on and manages it. If I didn't have Josh Telchad on the staff, I don't know if I'd do it anymore. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> He does a lot of work. He starts promoting it in January, and I think he's up to 18 teams right now. So it's something that, uh, we, we, you know, we get the Middle Tennessee uh, Official Association, and they come in and, and practice, you know, because they got to yeah, get the Yeah, it's game good ready. for them. Yeah, it's good for those guys yeah. because we're looking for refs. we got to have more officiating, don't we? Yeah, we have to. Have, we, need, we need some more officials in, in the Middle Tennessee area. So, you know, it's a good day for them to come and practice and, and get better. Also, but it's a it's a great event. It's a great event that we've been putting on for nearly ten years now. So it's it's something that that we kind of look forward to, uh, excited about. But also it's it's good. To, you know, I know it's big robberies every Friday night, but a lot of a lot of coaches that that we have really good relationship with come around. You know, uh, I know that uh, uh, on Friday nights I can't stand Kevin Creasy, but uh, but when it comes to things like that, he he he'll bring his team over and support our event. And it's 
it's things like that. Not only Coach Tracy, but a lot, uh, but you know, a lot of the other schools in Rutherford County come over and and support it. And that shows that that even though we are big rivalries, that we all can get along and and, and get our kids do right for the kids and get them better. Coach, I can't thank you enough for being on Inside the Headset. Can't thank you, your faculty, staff, and administration for always welcoming me when I come over to Tomahawk Stadium. I know I can come over there and broadcast any Friday night, and I will do several games this fall at Tomahawk Stadium and at, at uh, Ken Nolan Field. It, it's a it's a it's a it's a great place. It, it's, it's a wonderful place. I've been very blessed to, to be here for been here for a long. Um, so I'm, I'm thrilled, excited, and we're ready to rock and roll for the fall 23 season. Thank you, and uh, we will talk to you again real soon. I right, appreciate it, Stuart. See you, bye.